uh, kind of overwhelmed. I, I, I've always wanted this award. Out of any, any award that there is in the world, this is the most important. Uh, I'm excited, I'm honoured, and uh, I look forward to finding somewhere to put this. <laughs> Away from the children. Uh, I mean, you know, for me, the, the, the real changes are always the production changes. The, the songs essentially are, are either quite classic in melody, but uh, what your team your teammates I call them do afterwards really changes the direction of where pop goes you know and uh, with people like Steve Mack you know he's always pushing the boundaries of uh, sonically of where it can go so I think more than anything the, the producers have kind of moved where pop has gone well, it's super exciting because you know I get to kind of sit there you get the excitement of actually writing the song hearing it at the end of the session feeling like it could be something you know, then hearing it after it's been produced and going, oh my God, it's so much better than I thought. And then again, when it comes out and it's on the radio for the first time and you're just super excited about that as well. So It's a bit different with every song. Flying Without Wings came as uh, just something that I sang in the middle of the air and then uh, met up with Steve and said, oh, I've got this idea. And we sat down and wrote the whole song in about 40 minutes because it was for us it was about our wives. And we were thinking, well, like, what, what are the things that kind of lift you up like you're flying? And so it was our wife, families, friends, the arts. Uh, and then you've got records, like the stuff that I've done with James Blunt, where we'll sit in a room and we'll have a conversation and maybe somebody that he knows has gone through something and we'll write from that perspective. I think, uh, the, the, I suppose the things that I'm interested in have evolved. And so I've, I started off doing a lot of songs for people and now the, the evolve, well, yeah, the evolution has been uh, actually getting to write with artists who are natural writers, um, you know, like a James Blunt or uh, uh, Jess Glynn. And I'm, I'm enjoying that part of the process now. And I, I do a lot of co-writes, whereas before I'd kind of, kind of stick to the lyrics myself. Uh, co-writing is now the really enjoyable thing for me. Oh, there's so many people I'm desperate to work with. Um, but mostly the old guard, actually. You know, I'd love to work with Ed Sheeran if we were talking about new people. But, uh, you know, Stevie Wonder is somebody I'd love to work with. Uh, I've worked with a lot of the, the kind of the older people that I love. Uh, yeah. Doing a lot of travelling, kind of doing like a writing tour. So just come back from Dublin, working with Coda Lion. Um, and then I'm off to, and, and before that I was in Ibiza with James. And then uh, now I'm off to Jamaica for a writing camp. So 2016 for me was kind of about reinvigorating myself, not being in the same atmosphere, uh, going out and meeting new writers that I'd never worked with before. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to spend a few months doing that. And so far it's been brilliant.